Hey guys, Jonathan here, and welcome back to The Best Home Tech, Episode 4. So first up is what I feel every home setup should have, and that of course is a life-size Iron Man. On a serious note, that is one of the questions that I've seen the absolute most lately. And if you missed it a few months back, we actually picked one of these suits up for a real life Captain America versus Iron Man iPhone 6S parody. And after we put it through its paces and it nearly fell apart, we grabbed the mannequin, reconstructed it and turned it into this. Now, by no means are these suits cheap or necessarily practical, but if you're interested, I will drop a link conveniently placed below that upwards facing thumb. Now, what is actually first up is the LifeX Color 1000, which is a Wi-Fi connected smart LED light bulb and also a Philips Hue alternative. Now, don't get me wrong, I am a huge fan of Philips Hue, but you have to be committed and really dive into their system, whereas with the Life X, it's kind of the complete opposite, where you have a ton of freedom and flexibility, and I think that's really what drew me towards checking this out. For starters, there is no additional hardware or hub that you need to get this working. You simply have the light bulb, grab the app, and you are good to go. Now, conversely, if you have an existing setup, like for example, here I have it set up with the Samsung SmartThings Home Monitoring Kit where it works flawlessly, and that is where that freedom and control that I was talking about really shines through. On top of that, getting back to the standalone app, I really like the interface. It's clean, it's simple, it's easy to navigate. Changing the colors on this is as simple as dragging a dial. And I know initially when these came out, the price was a little on the higher side, but since then it's come down. And because of that and the overall experience, I was really impressed with this. So next up, I know a ton of you are interested in home automation. So we're gonna take a closer look at the SmartThings home monitoring kit that I mentioned earlier. And big shout out to Samsung SmartThings for not only sending out the kit, but the SmartCam HD Pro as well and sponsoring this episode. So with this kit, you get the SmartThings Hub, which is not only the nucleus, but where all the magic happens, a SmartThings Outlet, a motion sensor, and then two multi-purpose sensors. So jumping back to the Hub, this is gonna allow you to control everything. It's where you connect new devices, where you can manage things. And this, of course, is all done through the SmartThings app on your phone. Now, as many of you are probably aware, I'm a huge advocate of salt lamps, but the problem is I usually forget to turn them off. So being able to use the SmartThings outlet with the salt lamp is kind of awesome because even if I do forget to turn it off, I can simply do that on my phone or if I wanted to set these to a schedule. Now, for those of you out there who have ninjas in their life who tend to grab things that aren't theirs, you will love the motion sensor. Nerf gun not included, but you can see exactly how useful this actually could be. And on top of the motion sensor, you can set up the multi-purpose sensors to trigger doors or cupboards. And these work by being smart enough to know when they are separated and therefore let you know when something is opened up. Now jumping over to the SmartCam HD Pro, I know there are a ton of Wi-Fi cameras in the market right now, but this stands out for a couple reasons. One, you can connect up to 10 of these for multiple streams of video. You get a 128 degree wide angle lens, and more importantly, the video quality is stellar. What you're seeing right now is towards the end of the day when there really wasn't much light at all in the room. And for a Wi-Fi camera to hold that kind of dynamic range and clarity is pretty outstanding. So overall, you're getting a pretty complete package. It looks good, the video quality is great. You get a ton of features and more importantly, it works seamlessly with the SmartThings home monitoring kit, which if you wanna check out more, make sure to head over to smartthings.com slash Jonathan. Now last up, we're taking a look at another request you guys had, and that is to check out some stuff from Sono. Specifically, this is the Play One Two Room Starter Bundle. Now with this bundle, you can actually use it two ways. You can either use them separately as individual speakers in separate rooms, or you can use these as surround speakers in the entire home theater setup with the sub and sound bar. In this case, I'll be showing them off individually, but if the entire surround setup is something you wanna see, definitely let me know. Now, one thing I've always enjoyed with Sonos is the simplicity and how easy it is to set everything up. These work over your Wi-Fi network and from there allow you to either stream your physical library or your internet library, whether that's something like Spotify or even Pandora. On top of being extremely simple to set up, I was genuinely surprised with how loud and how full these things sounded for the size. I did not expect them to get as loud as they did, but at the same time, they still maintained clarity. Now, if you notice here, one thing that makes me extremely happy is when products work in unison with each other. So if I am turning the volume up or down on the actual Sonos, that is gonna correspond over to the phone where the music is streaming off of. So for the pair, if you can jump on that holiday price, then I would have no problem recommending these. Aesthetically, they're on point, the software experience is top notch, and more importantly, these sound good. Now aside from that, that wraps up the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go Ralphie getting shot with a Nerf gun on that like button. If you guys have any questions, drop me a line down below. Feel free to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.